All right, you're going to learn about constant rates of change. Lesson 4.2, it's on page 123. And we're going to learn how you can identify and represent proportional relationships. So some new vocabulary in this as well. Uh, in this explore activity, we have uh, this information takes a giant tortoise three seconds to travel 10.5 inches. And we have this uh, little bar diagram here. So one second, uh, uh, three seconds travel 10.5 inches. So one, two, three seconds to travel 10.5 inches. So if we divide it by three, each of these will be 3.5 inches. So that was 3.5, uh, 3.5, and I've had 10.5 minus the seven, which is the combination of these, I end up with 3.5. So the tortoise is moving 3.5 inches per second, so it's moving at a steady pace, or also known as a constant rate. And what is that unit rate? It is 3.5 inches per second. Also, I could write this as 3.5, all right, or 3.5 inches per second. Two different ways of writing that. Okay, so I'll complete the table. In one second, it moves uh, 3.5 inches. After two, that's double that, that's seven inches. Okay, three, okay, 10.5. We know that from the opening statement right here. Four, well four is double what two is, so that should be uh, 14 inches. Now five, hmm, maybe what I would take is the four plus one is five, so I pick 14, plus 3.5, I could do that. So this would be 14 plus 3.5, which is uh, what, 17.5, right there. Okay, now what I could do, and we have to know that these are the X numbers and these are the Y numbers in our table. So for each column, write a rate that compares the distance in time. Put the distance in the numerator, okay, distance in the numerator, so our Ys, are going to go on top and our x's are going to go on the bottom on each of these. So we'll take the first one, 3.5 over 1, 3.5 over 1, and that equals 3.5. And 7 over 2, 7 over 2, 7 divided by 2 is also 3.5. And 10.5 over 3, 10.5 over 3, that is also 3.5. And 14 divided by 4, so 14 divided by 4, that is 3.5. You can check it with a calculator. And, or actually, what I'll do is I'll do this. Uh, 4, I'll make this division. Uh, 4 into 14. 4 goes into 14. Let's see, it doesn't go into 1. It goes into 14 uh, 3 times. That's 12. 4 minus 2 is 2. I'll make a um, uh, decimal and a 0. And drop that 0 down. 4 goes into 25 times. There's a decimal. There's your 3.5. Okay, and 17.5 uh, 7 uh, over 5, that's also going to be 3.5. You're going to have to take my word for that, or you can divide it out if you like. What do you notice about all of these uh, rates in decimal forms? They're all 3.5. They are equal. And if they are all equal, that means the relationship is constant. If one of these were different, say this were 4, then the relationship would be variable, but it's not, it is constant. They are all the same. They all have to be the same for it to be called constant. Okay, next, suppose the tortoise travels for 12 seconds and play, explain how you could find the distance uh, for the tortoise. So if I go back here and the tortoise travels for 12 seconds, so we have 12 over here. I took, I could take the, uh, 12 and multiply it by 3.5. I could do that. I could take the, I could take the 12 or, or, uh, or I could do the, I could do the seven times six, two times six is 12. So seven times six would also give me the same thing. And I could do three, three goes into 12 four times. And I can multiply that by four or I can multiply 14 by three. Uh, there's several ways of doing that. I decided to just say, uh, 12 times 3.5, which I believe is uh, 42. 
So, but the answer doesn't matter. It matters. Uh, how would you do it? And then how could you describe the rate of speed? Well, the rate is constant because each of these ratios were the same. Okay. Now, proportional relationships. This is way important right here. A proportional relationship, uh, a proportion is a statement of two rates or equal uh, ratios. I just say a proportion has two equal fractions, and I put that right over here. And you should put that in the margin, just to remind you. Two equal fractions. Now, a rate of change is a rate that describes how one quantity changes in relation to another. Now, our rate of change over here our rate of change was 3.5 inches per second. That's the change. Now, uh, a proportional relationship between two quantities is one in which the rate of change is constant. So over here, this proportional relationship, this all here create was a proportional relationship because the rate of change was the same. Okay, uh, so uh, proportional relationships uh, are often described using words such as per or for or each. For example, uh, this fraction can be described as $1.25 per pound, say per pound, or $1.25 for each pound. In our example here, Kelly earns money by dog sitting, which is really cool, cruel, because you shouldn't be sitting on dogs. Just kidding. Uh, based on the table and this relationship between Kelly Earns uh, and the number of days, is, is this a proportional relationship? So what we do is we set up, we have the, the top is the X and the bottom one is the Y, and we take our Ys divided by the Xs. So we have 16 over 1. Okay, 16, 1, okay, 16 over 1, done. Uh, 32 over 2, that's right here. So that's done. And that simplifies to 16 over 1 right there and 48 over 3 that simplifies to that uh, 64 over 4 simplifies the same thing and 80 divided by 5 that simplifies the same thing so yeah compare the rates the rate of change is $16 per day that's constant okay so what we have is this on the next page 125 the table shows the distance Allison drove one day on her vacation. Is the relationship between the distance and time a proportional relationship? Did she drive at a constant speed? Well, I took uh, our X and Y. Okay, Y over X, 65 over 1, 65 divided by 1, that's easy, that's 65. And I took 120 over 2, 120 over 2. Well, 120 divided by 2 is 60. Right there, it's already broken. The rates are not equal because her speed has changed. It went from 65 miles per hour to 60 miles per hour. And as if one of them's off, then the whole thing, doesn't matter if all the rest of them are still 65, it's not a constant speed. Okay, writing an equation for a proportional relationship. If there is a proportional relationship, which we were just looking at, between x and y, you can describe that relationship using the equation y equals kx. We're going to use this a bunch. The variable k is called the constant of proportionality, and it represents the constant rate of change. So that k is our constant rate of change. So over here, our k over here, the k was 3.5. Uh, the value k represented in the equation, okay, so if you want to find that rate of change, you would take the y value divided by the x value. Huh, does that sound familiar? That's what we were doing over here, or y divided by the x right there. Two pounds of cashews, shown uh, cost $19, and uh, oh, so two pounds for 19. So two pounds for 19. That's in the table here. Eight pounds cost for uh, $76. So eight pounds is $76. Show that the re relationship between the number of pounds of cashews and the cost is a proportional relationship. Then write in the, uh, the equation for the relationship. Describe the proportional relationship in words. So we have our table. Uh, we have cost and we have pounds. Now, uh, what's kind of weird here is we have 2 for 19, 8 for 76. Uh, it's not immediately obvious where this one came from to me. I'm feeling stupid now, but it might pass. Okay, so at any rate, write the rates. So we have y over x, cost over number of pounds. 
y over x. 19 over 2, that's equal to 9.5. 76 over 8, 76 over 8, y over x is 9.5. You can check that with a calculator. 76 divided by 8. So the rates are all equal to 9.5, uh, $9.50 per pound, and they are constant, so relationship is proportional. Yeah, the constant rate of change is $9.50 per pound. So the rate of change, look at that. Rate of change is 950. That is K when we're looking at Y equals KX. Still not completely sure where they got that one right there, but I'll just take it. And so what we do is, I mean, basically, uh, it, it's uh, there's a lot of stuff here. X is the number of pounds of cashews. Y is the cost in dollars. And our decimal form, the rate of change is 9.5. So really, you just take, if I write this here, Y equals KX. So <laughs> to write the equation for this uh, relationship over here, I mean, the equation, the equation that re uh, describes this entire relationship is Y equals 9.5X. So you just... Uh, take uh, substitute 9.5 for k and dollars per pound that's possible yeah you, we can definitely use that but usually cost uh cost per pound is more common in these types of problems i thought i'd highlight that okay so our last question here for a school field trip there must be one adult to accompany 12 students three adults accompany 36 students okay so one adult 12 uh, students, 3, 36, and 5, a company, 60. Show that the relationship between the number of adults and the number of students is a proportional relationship, and then write an equation for the relationship. Okay, so uh, let's take, uh, you know, we have y, uh, x and y. So 1 over 12, y over x, 1 over 12. Okay, got it. Uh, 3 over 36, 3 over 36, and 5 over 60. Are these the same? Well, yeah, you could... You could flip these all over just to compare them. You can take uh, 12 over 1. That's equal to 12. Uh, then we could have uh, 36 divided by 3. That's also 12. And we take 60 divided by 5. And that is also equal to 12. So you can reciprocalize all of those and say, oh, yeah, they're going to be the same. They all also, you can see that they all simplify to 1 12th. You can simplify these fractions. So there's a couple ways of noticing that, yeah, they're all the same. Each rate is equal, 1 adult to 12 students. The relationship is, is proportional. Okay, so each of these have the same rate. Great. And if we had um, y equals kx, Y is the number of adults. So our textbook publisher said, uh, call it A. You could probably call it Y. And then our uh, rate of change is 1 12th. Because remember, uh, as it says right here, K is Y over X right there. So if I write here, K is equal to Y over X, then 1 over 12. That's 1 over 12. So then, uh, as we have our y equals kx here, k is 1 12th, and a is simply mentioned uh, for adults, and x is for students. And that's what you got to know.